Now let's talk about some concepts that are important for managing your recipes. These are things like the time machine, versioning, and documentation. Let's go through them one at a time. Now for some applications like Salesforce, you'll see something called the from or the since field. And this is the time machine. It allows you to go back as far as you want to the beginning of time or sometime in between. And it'll pick up all of the times that, let's say, a contact was either created or updated. So that's time machine. The second thing that we want to talk about is versioning. Now versioning is very useful if you make mistakes when you're creating your recipes. So if I click on versions, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of versions we can look at. I can go to, let's say, a preview. I'll open this in a new tab so it's more convenient. And you'll see an old version of the recipe. You can see down here, for instance, that we haven't added the formula in this case. So that's the old version. And you can actually restore this if your current one isn't working. All you have to do is make sure that the recipe has not been started yet, and it'll work just fine. The third concept we want to talk about is documentation. Now documentation is important because it helps people understand your recipe better. What does your recipe do and why is your recipe important? For example, you want to make sure that you have a name that makes sense. In our case, we have a pretty simple situation, so this is okay. We should also edit the description and put something a little bit more informative than this and save it. And one more thing that we can do is add comments to each step. For example, here, if I go all the way over to this little bubble, I can click Add Comment. And maybe in the comment, I'll say something like, Necessary to prevent duplicates. And once you've done all that, you can click Save again, and that'll save your changes. So that's documentation. One last thing is sharing and cloning. Now the first thing is that if I want to create another version of this recipe, let's say I want a duplicate of this, I can click copy, that'll preserve this, and I can work off of an entirely new recipe that was copied from it. Second thing is to click to the about section. You'll see this option here, depending on your plan, you might have the option to change between private and public. And generally, if you don't want this to be shared with others, you can just click private. And if you want this to be shareable, then click public, and it'll be available under Browse Recipes. So everybody will be able to find your recipe. And those are a few concepts that are important when you're managing your recipes.